Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and recently the legal lock picker sent me a awesome package of some incredible locks. And one of the locks he sent, which really is intriguing, is this one, which is a camouflage uh, master lock 573 DPF. Now, I know that uh, master lock or has a you know the parent company own American lock as well, and I have picked an American lock. Uh, that's that's the same color actually and camouflage. I think it was a series 20 very similar size and shape I will leave a link if I remember to do so um, If not remind me in the comments. I'll, I'll, I'll put a link up if I do forget anyway um, I didn't know that mass lock did a camo version themselves as opposed to their American lock version So this is really really awesome. I don't know much about this lock at all. I'm just reading on the back um, It looks like it's been opened already by the legal lock picker. I think he's probably already done a video on this. Um, just says five pins, uh, dual ball locking mechanism at the shackle, solid aluminium, a lifetime guarantee hardened seal shackle. So nothing about whether it's security pins in there. The American lock has serrated pins and serrated spool pins um, on the driver pin side. So that's kind of cool. Okay, well, um, let's have a snip away at tape. There we go. There we go. And slide this out. I'll try not to look at the bitting too much and just uh, cover it all up. There we go. And uh, let's have a look at that. Quite a nice looking lock, actually. It, it looks like it's been used. I mean, it's in its original box, which is really cool, but the shackle is. I can't tell. It looks sort of painted, but the bodywork has some small dimples in it. I can't tell whether that's just the finish or whether it's been used or not. It's very hard to tell. Um, it's, it's got a very uh, strong, like American locks actually, very strong core spring. I saw that there was a, uh, a Phillips head screw in there, so we can disassemble this later. Uh, if we are lucky, I, or I have my pinning tray to hand, so we'll have a look at that. Uh, tensioning, 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 what should we use? Um, I could go top of the keyway with this. That could work. I could also try some bottom of the keyway stuff if I've got the right tensioner to hand. Let's see what I've got. Would that work? Yeah, that would work really nice. And it looks like we've got quite a shallow keyway in there, not much room. So I think I'm going to try to choose something like Southorn Max 07B. Let's have a, a feel around it there. Yeah, that feels comfortable. Okay, so good tension on. A little click there, that's a pin three. That's pin two, back to the back. Oh, and we are open. I didn't have to pick pin five at all. I just picked pin four. Um, where's our key? No idea what's going on there. Oh, um, in fact, I might have just got one pin out. Maybe I didn't need to pick pin one. Maybe it's just a essentially a three pin lock. Look, five, four, and three, and then uh, no five. Sorry, <laughs> no. Do they say five pins? This is a four pin. Where's that box? I'm confused. Five pin cylinder. One, two, three, four. Am I missing something here? That's not the fifth pin. I, okay, right. I, you know what? I really should have watched uh, Legal Lock because video on this, shouldn't I? I, I didn't because I didn't want any. Uh, I wanted you know to explore this myself, but that was that's really bad. I, and I know what you're saying, yeah, but it's Master Lock and blah blah blah. But Master Lock have actually made some pretty decent locks, and they're not all that bad. But this was picked way too easily, like way, way too easy. I, I think maybe I think pin I think it's four pins, and pin one is zero lift, meaning that I didn't have to actually do anything at all to, uh, yeah, open it up. So it looks like it's unshielded. So it's possibly bypassable. Possibly bypassable. That's a, that's a phrase. Possibly bypassable. Okay, and. It's got a little circlip on. Okay, so some of these master locks um, have, and American locks actually, 
have actually been crimped before now, so I'm actually glad, let's uh, lock that back up. I'm actually glad that this one isn't crimped, so let's get in there, push this off and try not to fling the circlip. Try, the trick is not to push it off all the way, otherwise if you do, you get a bit over anxious, over, over, um, eat, um, oh, whatever the term is, you push it off and then the thing goes bing and shoots across the room, so that's not so cool. Um, do I have some followers? Yes, I do. I think got a titanium follower there, which would go lovely. I have a bit of a shim going on somewhere, I'm sure. There we go, and let's get that key on there. This is a four pin lock, that's not five pins. Unless this is the wrong box for the lock, which I don't, no, because it's camouflage, it's, it says five pin, this is really confusing, this is definitely a four pin lock. I'm really glad in a way, I didn't watch, and sorry Legal Lock Picker for not watching the video, because um, I'm sure you have done a video on this, but I'm glad I didn't watch it, because it just means that um, this is actually a surprise for me now, and no doubt you had the same surprise. Four little pins, I mean, teeny weeny little pins, that's so bizarre. One. Two, come on. Two, got it out there, two, three, four. Okay, well this is a, a bit surprising. One, two, these are all like American lock keepings. Look, look, serrated, they're American lock keepings. They're not, they're not master lock keepings at all. Uh, okay. Well, they clearly are master lock keepings. Okay, so, you know, but you know what I mean, right? Just that's just weird. Okay. Uh, what other surprises does this lock have for us? Let's go in and uh, have a look, shall we? So this is pin one. And it appears that this is an American lock pin, so it's serrated. This is the most confusing lock in the world. These are all American lock pins in a four pin core, supposedly in a five pin lock. Uh, all serrated again, all serrated, and a classic American Lock serrated spool. Let me just show you these. I mean, I'm all for it if Master Lock are going to go in this direction and put their American Lock serrated pins and their serrated spools in, in their standard Master Locks. That'd be incredible, because uh, they are great pins. Why? I didn't have to pick them, I, I'm not entirely sure. The only way to find out is to take that core, take the key out, pop these key pins back in, and see if, so I'm I'm thinking that this one, when it goes into the keyway, is basically at the shear line already. Oh, not quite, but it could, I could have just bumped the key pin up a little bit with my pick, so, as I was putting this in, it's possible that that I put the shank in at an angle that basically just lifted it up enough to set it. I think that's probably what happened. Okay. Uh, let's put these in. Yeah. That's what I think probably happened. I probably had to pick four, three, and two, and probably the, the pick shank picks number one. Um, and even the deepest pin isn't deep enough really to, well, it is deep enough to give me a full set. It just didn't. I've got no idea. This is a very confusing lock. It should have been a little bit harder to pick than it really was. Um, so yeah, I've got nothing there, but that's cool. That's, I mean, it's, it's still, do you know what? It's, it might be a really bad lock in terms of its uh, anti-pick, but it's still a really cool lock and I've never seen one before. So it's gonna stay in my collection and actually be a bit of a prized possession. So, um, hey, you know, it's not all about how difficult the lock is to pick, it's how much you like the lock. And I like this lock a lot. It's just very confusing and it's certainly not, as it says here, a five pin cylinder. Um, at best, you could say it's an eight pin cylinder if you included the key pins and the drive pins together. Uh, uh, that's, that's all, yeah, it's a strange one, isn't it? Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.